Today we're going to do a review of a, I guess it's pronounced Kato, KA249W, Solar Dynamo LED Lantern. Eight LEDs, solar power, dyno power, AM, FM, no weather radio, 5 volt DC input, micro USB, and 5 volt DC output for a cell phone charger. I've been using this for about a month now. It works great. It's very bright. It does everything that they promise. And it has the, on the bottom here, that you take the bottom off. You can put three uh, AA batteries in it. Once again, I'm not big on batteries when I can use solar power or crate power or any other power because I just don't see the point in it. They're not replenishable. Anyway, it says that these can work on a lantern 5 to 8 hours and the radio can play 6 to 10 hours. Well, I run it completely down, but I think it's charging anyway, just sitting here under the, through the solar, on the, just on the, uh, under the lamp. It does have crank power, and it works, as far as I can tell, it works very good. You can plug it into, uh, uh, the USB, and just this way. Of course, I... You will always plug it in backwards if you're me. Because, anyway, you can see the light comes on. I ran it completely down deliberately to see how long it would take to charge and see how long it would run when it was fully charged. So we'll come back to this video later. After it's fully charged, when this light goes out, I'll know it's no longer charging. And we'll come back and make the video again. It may be tomorrow, and then we can check the solar power on it again, too. It's long it'll take two or three days to do this, because we're going to check uh, how long it takes to charge with the solar. We're going to check how long it takes to charge with a, a USB. We're going to see how long it'll play on three AA batteries. And what we're going to do, we're going to, we're going to run the, the light on high beam, low beam, radio on, radio off, high beam, low beam. We're going to do it all. But as you can see, it's very bright on high beam, very bright on low beam. And then we're going to run it all the way dead. And we're going to use this handle on the back and we're going to crank it, see how long it takes us to charge a cell phone. It might be hours, it might be minutes. I have no idea. So anyway, we're going to put this through the full test. I don't know, maybe nine or ten different things before we find out what, what it is. But this is what we'll do. As you can see, still charging. It's been maybe 30, 45 minutes. I've uh, sent a message to a somebody that I follow on YouTube. It's uh, youtube.com slash gadget addict. He, uh, if he can get a hold of one of these, will tear it apart get the battery out of it, measure the battery, how long does it take to charge, he'll tell you everything about it. Milliamps per hour, he will tell you everything. Even though it says right here 500 milliamps an hour, he will take that battery out of there and make sure that it's 500 milliamps an hour. Anyway, I want you to follow him on uh, YouTube and subscribe to him. He's a great man. He's a British man, but he will, he's probably a little more understandable than my slanglish. Anyway, he will 
he will just take this apart. He'll find out everything about it for you if he's able to get one. And I'm sure he can tell you more about this than I can. Anyway, follow him on YouTube.com slash Gadget Addict.